Hello and welcome to another video of mine. This one is about how to optimize your memory in uh, main stage. Because if you end up like me having uh, hundreds of patches, all with the basically same sounds and you just copy them, a main stage will eat up all your memory. So let, let's keep it nice and clean. And what you can do is basically, uh, you can turn on a, a setting in main stage to show uh, the uh, amount of memory each patch is using, which is helpful, right? And then you can just create uh, linked copies of the patch. So for example, this is my main piano, right? And if I want to create a linked copy of it that, that doesn't use memory at all, um, I can do th this with a simple trick. Just uh, select the channel strip, I press the Command Copy button, so Command C on my keyboard, I just create a new patch here, give it a name, let's say, I don't know, piano and strings, okay? And then instead of pressing Command V, I also use the Alt key. So, Command Alt V. Bam! There you have it. Now you see the difference. If I go back to the main piano, there was a circle with an arrow out of it. So it's showing this is the this is the source. And this is actually a link to the source. Okay? Which doesn't use any memory at all. Zero kilobyte. But I can play the piano. Okay? What is what what you need to know, every change that you do on the sound, like like on the on the uh, on the sound here, okay, of your instrument, that will also roll up to the links, okay? But what is basically saved with this patch only is the volume and the panning um, and uh, also some the, the audio effects, as far as I know. So you can really change some stuff um, if you want to change it a little bit, but if you change the source, uh, then obviously all the links, all the links will also change, right? Now the nice thing is I can do the same with the strings as well. So I go to my strings, right? And then I can basically um, copy those. Command C, go in here. Command Alt V, and then I have another copy of it. Just lower the volume a bit, and there you have it. Very nice piano strings. Okay? So it's very easy and it just costs you zero kilobytes. I hope this was useful for you. Have fun online jamming and see you in my next video.